uh, for all for our entire team on uh, how we can get better and uh, improve in areas where we uh, we can uh, really grow in. And for, and for the for those young guys like like Kobe, Frankie, and Zeb, I guess what do what do they need to show you in practice and in games to to show that they are deserving of more minutes? Uh, you know, to keep doing what they're doing, uh, and they they're doing a fantastic job of learning uh, the system, learning new habits, um, asking great questions, watching film, and uh, and competing in practice. And the last one for me is, I guess, when you look at the freshmen, I guess, what are you looking for in particular to to sh- to see that they are making progress, like making the progress that you guys want to see? Um, no, the freshmen are they're growing, and uh, the game is uh, is. They're totally different from high school and AAU. And uh, and now that you look at a lot of teams are a lot older. Uh, you have some teams have seniors or red shirt seniors because of COVID and uh, they have more experience. And, you know, those guys have been freshmen before where they had to really um, learn the new style of play, uh, learn uh, what's, what's asked of them from their coaches, learn new habits and uh, and then see the game as, uh, as they uh, – Play by play, rep by rep, uh, uh, improve. So you know, I, I love what I, our group. I love our young guys, and you know, Kobe is not only Kobe, but uh, Frankie has been consistently in our, our rotation. Uh, Kobe, and who's the other one? You say Zeb. 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 Uh, uh, the, with Zeb uh, having missed a lot of time, he's he's now catching up and getting better too. Coach, we're going to move over to Andrew Kahn from M Live. Hey, Juwan, I'm sure you've seen, you know, in, in college basketball and, and all sports, a lot of cancellations starting to, to pick up again with, with COVID. Um, I know you always say health and safety are always number one, but are there any additional protocols or, or talks you're having with your guys, uh, you know, in this last week or so? Uh, my, my, my talks has been always consistent uh, be, before – you know, we've you know, seen like some of these uh, games being canceled, programs getting shut down, uh, campuses are, are getting shut down, uh, NBA teams are having players in, you know, health and safety protocol, uh, NFL games are being canceled. Uh, I've always sent the same message. Chris, who's our uh, trainer, has always you know, been consistent with this message. Uh, nothing never changes. You know, our guys are very in tune and um, also they – we give them all the information that we receive. We provide to them, uh, but, but everyone knows that we're not out of the clear yet. So there's no reason to have any type of lax um, because COVID still still is here, and, uh, and COVID is, hasn't gone anywhere. Sure. Um, and then completely switching gears, uh, how, how do you think uh, Southern Utah will test you know your one-on-one defense? Because I know you weren't pleased with that in, in the last game. Do, do you think they'll yeah be a be a test for you there? Oh, of course it will. I mean, you look at their roster and, and another g- group of seniors, upperclassmen. Um, but not only that, they have uh, some guys that are very good, um, creating their own shot off the dribble. Uh, speaking of one, John Knight, he's really good uh, at getting downhill, getting to the basket. Um, Tre- Tevian Jones, who played at Illinois, uh, another guy that created his own shot, very long, athletic. Great, great off the dribble. Dre, not only a good shooter, but also uh, can create his own shot off the dribble. Um, we also got to add the guy off the bench, Butler. Uh, another one, Moody, plays hard. Marquise, Barnes, I mean, um, we stressed it. We're going to continue to keep growing and, and working on it. And um, not only guys have to do a better job individually, one-on-one, but team uh, has to do also a better job with – uh, being in a help position, uh, not leaving a man on the island by himself. Thanks. Uh, next up is uh, Nick Stoll from the Michigan Daily. Yeah, so, Juwan, earlier you mentioned how important these next few games are for the team's improvement. Uh, as a coach, are there any specific areas you're honing in on and really making sure to watch the team is improving? Well, yeah, um, you know, it's a lot of areas, but one in particular is taking care of the basketball. Um, we have average 13.5 turnovers a game. Uh, that's an area that we can truly improve on that we we must get better with um, because every possession matters. Um, if you look at our defensive numbers, you know, we rank up there with the best team in the country, and that's Baylor I'm speaking of. If you look at some of our offensive numbers, 
Uh, we're right there with the best team in the country, and that's Baylor uh, at this moment. But uh, one thing that they have, and they've done better with, is uh, they have more possessions than we do, and that results to uh, we just got to make the simple play and uh, value the basketball, but not overthink or force plays. And I, and we've seen it on on film. We've also talked about it in practice, and uh, and it's important moving forward that we uh, improve in in that area. 